Crocheted Leaves from Shadow Studio. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to crochet an oval leaf. Make a foundation chain of 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. First row. Make one chain stitch up, skip one stitch from the hook and single crochet through the second stitch. Then half double crochet through the next stitch. Double crochet three in a row. I am working stitches under the back loops of chain stitches. Two and the last double crochet. Continue. Treble crochet four in a row. Yarn over hook two times for a treble stitch. One. Two. Three and the last one four. Then double crochet three in a row. One, two, and three. Half double crochet through the next stitch and single crochet through the last stitch. Now continue chain three, one, two, three. Turn the work to the bottom side of our foundation chain and single crochet through the first chain stitch. Now we're going to work through the same chain stitches of our foundation chain but from the bottom side. Inserting the hook under two loops, back loop and bottom loop. Half double crochet, double crochet three, one, two, three, treble crochet four in a row. One, two, three, and four. Then double crochet three again. One, two, and the last double crochet. Half double crochet through the next stitch. And now single crochet through the last chain stitch. To finish this row, make a slip stitch through the top chain stitch. This is the first chain stitch on this row. We made it on the beginning to bring the row up to the correct height. The leaf is ready. You can stop the work. I'm going to make a trim with pico around. To begin, make one chain stitch up, single crochet two through our first single crochet stitch. Then single crochet through the next stitch. And again, single crochet through the next stitch and make a three chain pico on top. 
Repeat, single crochet through the next stitch and through the next stitch make a single crochet with a 3 chain pico on top, chain 3 and a slip stitch through 2 loops of single crochet. Repeat in a row, single crochet and then single crochet with pico. Again, single crochet and single crochet through the next stitch and make a 3 chain pico on top. Single crochet through the next stitch and through the next stitch single crochet and make a 3 chain pico. Now single crochet through the next stitch and work into the chain space. Single crochet and make a pico on top. Then single crochet into the same chain space and single crochet with pico. Then single crochet and single crochet and make a 3 chain pico. Now continue in a row, single crochet through the first stitch after the chain space, then single crochet with a 3 chain pico. Repeat in a row, single crochet and single crochet with pico. single crochet through the next stitch and through the next stitch single crochet with pico on top. Single crochet, single crochet and make a 3 chain pico this is the last single crochet with pico. You can see that our last pico is on the same level with the first pico that is on the other side of our leaf. Then single crochet through the next stitch and single crochet two through the next stitch. One and two. And finish the work with a slip stitch through the first chain stitch. Our leaf is ready. Let me show you the back side. Here's the back side. I'm still going to continue and make a leaf stock. Chain 7. Make one chain stitch up. Skip the first stitch from the hook and make a slip stitch through the second stitch. Then chain one and a slip stitch through the next chain stitch in a row. Repeat all the way to the leaf. Chain one and a slip stitch through the next stitch. Chain one and a slip stitch through the next stitch. Chain one, to finish the work make a slip stitch through the stitch that we started our leaf stock from. The leaf stock looks very unusual
I have more leaves to show you. Around this leaf I made reverse single crochet trim. This leaf we've made just now and this one was made of variegated yarn. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy my free tutorials.